Oh, I bet she tried to, didn't she? She must be the meanest old woman that ever was. Let's go tell Uncle Henry and Annie M. They'll take care of her. Come on, Toto. Now, honey, you see, the old incubator's got that, we're likely to lose a lot of our chicks. Oh, oh, the poor little things. Oh, but Anna M, Miss Gold hit Toto right over the back of the head with a ring, just because she says he gets in her garden and chases a nasty old cat every day. Seventy. Dorothy, please. But he doesn't do it every day. Just once or twice a week, and he can't catch an old cat anyhow. And now she says, Dorothy, she's going... we're busy. Oh. Uncle Henry, can't you do something? I'm doing something right now, honey. So stay out of our hair. Oh, all right. Ooh, as the genius suggested we move the wagon before the wheel was on. Well, it ain't so heavy with one leg. That, that makes sense, don't it? Sense or no sense. When I lift up the axle, you two shove her on. Zeke, Hickory, know what Miss Bolch did to Toto? I think this new wheel is smaller than the other three. Well, she tried to kill him. Bigger or smaller, get on here for my arms to pull clean out of their sockets. I ain't a statue, you know. I ain't made out of iron. Why won't anybody listen to me? Don't you care about Toto? Oh, oh you got my finger hurt. <laughs> what am I going to do about Miss Gold, huh? Just because Toto chases your old cat. <laughs> Look, you ain't using your head about Miss Gold. Ain't you got no brains? Sure, I have brains. Then, then why don't you use them then? Look, when. When you come home, don't go by Mrs. Gulch's place, and Toto will get in her garden, and you, you won't get any trouble, you, you see? Quit just standing there and clear that junk out of the wagon. We got a parcel of lumber to haul from town before the weather turns. Will do, Mr. Gale. See, what am I going to do about Toto? Oh, well for a start, kid, don't let that old Gulch heifer buffalo you. She ain't nothing to be scared of. You gotta stand up to her, that's all. With a, with a little courage, a little grit. I ain't afraid of her. That's what I wanted to hear. You gotta walk with your head up and your chest out, and next time she squawks, just stroll up to her and spit in her eye. That's what I would do. Would you really? Sure I would. <laughs> Through this life, you gotta walk tall and shoot straight, then you ain't got nothing and nobody to be scared of. Brother! <laughs> are you all right? What are you trying to do, kill a guy? Well, how can you be so cruel? It's just a joke, Dorothy. <laughs> oh, can't you see how wide he is? You really scared him. Oh, who was scared? You were scared. <laughs> if he was a jackrabbit, you'd be all the way in the next county by now. Here, here, what's all this jabber happening when there's work to be done? I know three shiftless farmhands will be out of a job before they know it. We were just having a little fun, Mrs. Scale. Farm's no place for fun. You want fun? Go join the circus. Might just do that. Be a strong man. <laughs> See the world. Don't start posing for now. Here, can't work on an empty stomach. Have some cookies. Gosh, Mrs. Gale. Just baked. Thanks. Well, you don't have to sit down, Leo. Now, go hitch up the wagon. And see, feed the hogs before they worry themselves into anemia. Yes, ma'am. Annie, I'm really. Do you know what Miss Bolch said she was going to do to Toto? She said, Dorothy, you... dear, stop imagining things. You always get yourself into a fret over nothing. Well, now, help us out today and go find yourself a place where you won't get into any trouble. Some place where there isn't any trouble. I wonder if there is such a place, Toto. Not somewhere you can get to by a boat or a train. Somewhere far, far away, behind the moon.
I've never spoke in my life, Miss Gulch. And I ain't about to start now. I need to speak to you and your wife right away about Dorothy. Dorothy? Why, what has Dorothy done? What's she done? Well, I'm all but lame from the bite on my leg. Wait, you mean she bit you? <laughs> no, her, her dog. Was well, she bit her dog? <laughs> Afternoon, Miss Gulch. Just made a fresh batch of cookies if you mind sit a while. I'm afraid I have no appetite, Mrs. Gale. Indeed, I am so shaken by the ferocious attack of your niece's vicious dog. I may never eat again. Well, if you don't eat, you'll waste away. And I hate to see you dwindle. <laughs> Dorothy, could you bring Toto out here a minute? I'm sure if Dorothy's done anything to upset you, she'll be only too glad to apologize as best she can. It's gone beyond apologies, Mrs. Gale. I'm already filed out an official complaint with the county sheriff. Was he sober? <laughs> Dorothy, Miss Gulch here seems very upset. That dog is a menace to the community. That's not true. As an act of public service, young woman, I will be taking the dog with me to the sheriff to make sure that he is destroyed. Destroyed? Toto? Oh, you can't. You mustn't. Uncle Henry, Annie Ann, you won't let her take him, will you? Of course we won't, will we, Ann? Oh, it wasn't Toto's fault. He didn't know he was doing anything wrong. I'm the one that ought to be punished. You could send me to bed without supper? You hear how sorry the child is? Surely if she promises to give your place a wide berth. If you don't hand over the dog now, I'll bring a damage suit that'll take your whole farm. There's a law protecting folks against dogs that bite. How about if she keeps him tied up? He's real gentle. A gentle folk, that is. Well, that's for the sheriff to decide. Uh-huh. Here's the order allowing me to take him, unless you want to go against the law. Uh, yes. What to say, Henry? Just what she said. You gotta hand him over, Dorothy. No, I won't let you take him. We can't go against the law, Dorothy. I'm afraid poor Toto will have to go. Now you're seeing reason. No. Here's that I'll be taking him in so that he can't attack me again. No, I won't let you. Oh, I'll bite you myself, Dorothy. Oh, you wicked old witch. Uncle Henry, Annie Ann, you can't let her take Toto. You just can't. Stop her! Oh! No use running, Dorothy. Hickory, I thought you were my friend. Well, he, he is your friend. We, we all are. You, you, you can't fight the law. Some things are just bigger than all of us. Let me have him, Dorothy. Oh, Uncle Henry, please. Oh, Toto. Put him in the basket, Henry. <laughs> That's more like it. Oh, Toto. Oh. <laughs> I'll marry Gulch just because you own half this county. It doesn't mean you have the power to run the rest of us. For 23 years, I've been dying to tell you what I thought of you. Now, well, being a Christian woman, I can't say it. Well, I can. And if you don't want to hear it, I suggest you pull your carcass off of my land. I don't take kindly to that kind of talk, Henry Gale. <laughs> Just remember that I have friends in high places. Then why don't you get on your broomstick and go visit them? <laughs> You got that horse into that wagon yet? Uh, nearly done, Mr. Gale. Nearly done ain't good enough. You get it done right now. The, the sky's getting darker every minute, gosh darn it. Come inside, honey. No, I'm not going anywhere with you. If you really loved me, you wouldn't have let Toto get away. She had order from the sheriff, Dorothy. What'd you expect us to do? Wave a wand and make it disappear? Well, you still could have at least tried. <sighs> you stood there like you was stuffed or something. I just can't think of anything. I'm sorry. One mean old woman and you're scared of her. It, it wasn't my place to interfere. I, oh. And you. You are worst of all. You stopped Toto from getting away. I just, just hate you. Oh, don't say that, Dorothy. You make me feel terrible inside. Like my heart's all... Torn out. I don't care. I never want to see any of you again. Ever, ever, ever. Oh. Toto was the only friend I ever had in the world. And now I got no one to talk to. And no one to play with. And, 
and big oceans! <laughs> Why, it's just like you could read what was inside of me. Oh, why, it is my trade, my calling. See what it says on the other side of my conveyance? Oh, don't do that, Toto. It's not polite. They haven't been asked yet. Oh, he's perfectly welcome. <laughs> As one dog to another, huh? <laughs> uh, here now, let's see. Uh, where were we? Oh, please, Professor. Why can't we go with you and see all the crown heads of Europe? Um, uh, do you know any? Uh, oh, you mean the thing? <laughs> yes, uh, well, uh, I can't do anything without consulting my crystal first. Uh, here, you sit right down there. That's it. Now then, you just relax while I conjure out of the air. Out of thin air. This! Very genuine, magic, authentic crystal used by the priests of the Isis and the Osiris in the days of the pharaohs of Egypt, in which Cleopatra first saw the approach of Julius Caesar and Mark Antony, and, uh, and uh, so on and so on and so on. And now then, you hold out your hands to help me look into the future. Okay, now then, you, you better close your eyes, my child, for a moment, in order to be better in tune with the infinite. We, we can't do these things without looking into the infinite. Yes, <laughs> yes, that's all right. Okay, you can open them. 
Now then, we'll gaze into the crystal. Hmm. Ah, what's this I see? Uh, it's a, a house with a, a picket fence. Oh, well, that's our farm. Uh, yes, there's, uh, there's also a, a, a woman wearing a, a polka dot dress. Her face is a uh, care one. That's Aunt Em. Yes, her name is Emily. What's she doing? Well, uh, I can't quite see why, uh, why she's crying. Oh. Someone has just hurt her. Someone has just about broken her heart. Why would anybody want to do that? Well, I don't know, but it's, it's someone she loves very much. Someone she's been kind to and taken care of in sickness. Well, I had the measles once and she stood right by me every minute. Uh-huh. But that was a long time ago. She doesn't care about me at all now, and I don't care about her. Well, that's, uh, hmm. that's not what the crystal says. They were going to kill Toto and she had nothing to stop them. Well, I don't see any of that in the crystal. All I see is a woman who does the best she can and misses you something terrible. What's she doing now? Um, yes, uh, let's see. Uh, oh. She's, she's putting her hand on her heart. Oh. She's, she's dropping down on the bed. Oh, you don't suppose she could really be sick, do you? Oh, we've got to get to her right away. Uh, but what's this? Uh, I thought you were coming along with uh, me. Oh, no, Professor. We've got to get home right away. Come on, Toto, come on. Goodbye, Good Professor Marble, and thanks a lot. Goodbye! Safe journey! Better get those horses under cover. Here's a storm of arm brewing. A whopper. Poor little girl. I hope she gets home all right. <laughs>
No, Toto's my dog, see? Well, I'm a little muddy. The munchkins called me because a new witch has just stopped the house on the wicked witch of the east. And there's the house, and here you are, and those legs are all that's left of the wicked witch of the east. <laughs>
And she's far worse than the other one was. Where's my sister? Yonder she lies. Where? <laughs> there.
Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Every riddle for any and a bit. 
little in trouble or in pain. If I only had a brain Yes, that's that's true. Oh, but then again, maybe you'd better not. I've got a witch mad at me, and you might get into trouble. A witch? Uh, I'm not afraid of a witch. I'm not afraid of anything. <laughs> oh, ex except a, a lighting match. Oh. I'd face a whole box full of them if I had a chance to get me some brains. Look, I won't be in trouble because I I don't eat a thing, and I won't try to manage things because I I can't think. Would you take it with you? Of course I <laughs> Ray! Ah! I'm gonna give me some brains. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> You're not starting out very well. Oh, I'll try. Really, I will. Two eyes? <laughs> Two eyes. <laughs> Delicious. Ouch! 
What do you think you are doing? Oh, we were walking the longest of ways, and I was hungry. Did you say something? She was hungry. She was hungry? How would you like if someone came over and picked something off of you? Oh, I'm sorry. I keep forgetting I'm not in Kansas. Come on, Dorothy. We don't want any of those apples. Yuck. Are you saying my apples aren't what they ought to be? No, it's just she doesn't like the little green worms. Worms? Did he say we had worms? That's what it sounded like to me. I'll show you how to get apples. Yeah, you got worms, worms, caterpillars, and probably a whole bunch of woodlice too. How dare you! Let's give it to them, girls. Oh, oh. take that! I can't that! You got no Ages. Well, how did you ever get like this? Well, when I was flesh and blood, like you, I fell in love with a beautiful munchkin maiden whose mother hated me. Oh. So to stop me from marrying her daughter, she hired the Wicked Witch of the West to put an evil spell on my axe. And when I tried to chop down a tree, I chopped my leg off instead. Oh, that's terrible. It, it chopped your leg off? But by good fortune, you a wonderful tinsmith who made me a new leg. Almost a concealed one. So back I went to work. And you know what happened? Something terrible, I bet. I swung my axe again, and dang me if you didn't take off the other leg. You should have got a new axe. <laughs> I guess you're right. But I got a new leg instead. So back I went to work. You sure were persistent. This time, I chopped off both my arms. Oh. Well, I can see how you chopped off one of your arms, but how did you manage to chop off the other? I told you the axe was enchanted. Ah, uh, see, Dorothy, <laughs> if I had a brain, I could have figured that one out myself. I sometimes wish I hadn't gotten a new pair of arms from the tinsmith, because the last time I swung my axe was the worst time of all. I don't want to hear this. What happened? Put myself right down the middle. Oh, you poor thing. So the tinsmith made me a new head and body. And on my way home, I got caught in a terrible rainstorm and rusted solid. It just wasn't your day, was it? I've been here ever since. Well, you're perfect now. Oh, my neck. My neck. Perfect. Just bang on my chest if you think I'm perfect. Go ahead. Bang on. Oh, beautiful. What an echo. It's empty. The tinsmith forgot to give me a heart. No, no heart. heart? No heart. And as long as I have no heart, I can never love my much <laughs> Oh, don't cry, Tin Man. The rust again. I used to cut her name on every tree. You can say that again. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'll fight you both together if you want. I'll fight you with one paw tied behind my back. Oh, I'll fight you standing on one foot. Oh, I'll fight you with my eyes closed. I'll sneak it up on you, pull an axe on you. Why? Here, here, go away now. Oh, scared, huh? Afraid, huh? How long can you? How long can you stay fresh in that can? <laughs> <laughs> oh, get up and fight, you shivering junkyard. Put your hands up, you lopsided bag of hay. That's getting personal, Lion. Here, teach him a lesson. Well, what's, what's wrong with you teaching him? <laughs> oh, I'll get you two, Pee Wee. Oh, I want you. Oh, oh. <laughs> What'd you do that for? I didn't fight him. No, but you tried to. It's bad enough picking on straw men, but when you go around picking on poor little dogs. But you did not to hit me. <laughs> it's my own sleep. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's like, of course not. What a, what a fuss you're making. Naturally, when you go around picking on things weaker than you are, why, you're just a great big coward. You're right. I am a coward. I haven't got any courage at all. I even scare myself sometimes. Oh, look at the bags under my eyes. I haven't slept in weeks. Have you tried count sheep? That doesn't help. I'm afraid of them. Um... <laughs> well, why don't you come with us to see the wizard to, to get him a heart? And him a brain. I'm sure he'd find you some courage. Oh, that's awfully nice of you. My entire life has been simply unbearable. Even my family disowned me when I was just a small cub. My father took me to the top of a tall mountain, called me out and said, One day, son, this will all be you. At least you'll be safe if I come with you. How's that? No self-respecting wild animal will come anywhere near me. Said a lion, a poor neurotic lion, to a miss who listened to him ring. Oh, the Lord made me a lion, but the Lord forgot to make me pray. And his tail began to curl and break. Life is sad, believe me, to see. Would you want to be a sissy without the damn boy? But I could change my habits, never be more scared than
depressing as boundless optimism. Happily, it is so totally misplaced. Shall I squash them like the interfering bugs they are? Or shall I be witty and creative? The bug alternative is attractive, but messy. So witty and creative points the day.
Yeah. That's so 